Good afternoon. Please, if you go, if you sit, it's hard after the, the lunch, but I hope you, you have enjoyed it. So now we are here because, as you realize, during these last two days, we have had several presentations of the Cloud to Edge Federation Empowering Data Spaces project. You know, as, you know this project as Simple. So Simple project, okay, is going to support data spaces, and now we will have a representation of Simple project on the stage. But I would like to, to welcome Silly Sepp, please, if you can go here. Silly Sepp from My Data Global will introduce us and will talk with Elaine Linkland from Capgemini about Simple Project. Thank you. Hello? Yeah, now it should work. Good, good afternoon. Hopefully, you had a good break. Um, and uh, yeah, indeed, this session is all about uh, understanding what Simple is, how it relates to the work that uh, the ESSC um, does. Uh, you've uh, seen the, the presentations from the morning about uh, the blueprint, etc. And here with Aline, uh, we're ready to uh, share some uh, insights about this co uh, collaboration. So first of all, Aline, uh, thanks a lot for joining uh, the, the SSE's annual event. I know that you're super busy right now with setting up everything at, uh, at Simple Open, so I really appreciate taking the time. Um, yeah, could you share a little bit what is Simple? Uh, what do you actually do? My pleasure, test one, two, three, I think it works. It's also my pleasure to be here and to interact with everyone and learn what everyone is doing around data spaces and your ongoing initiatives. So getting right into it. So Simple is a family of initiatives that are funded by the European Commission. So there are three key products or objectives that the Simple program wants to achieve. The first of which is Simple Open, Simple Live, and Simple Labs. So in the spectrum of Simple Open, which is the current ongoing initiative right now, Simple Open is essentially an open source software stack that aims to support these data initiatives and Cloud to Edge federated services in a secure manner for all data initiatives in Europe. That is a short and a succinct answer. All right. So in a way also, uh, the DSSC uh, then leads the way to, to Simple um, by conceptualizing what the data spaces should actually look like. Um, and as mentioned already in the previous sessions, we don't do that in, a, in the ivory tower behind closed doors, but uh, together with the um, really large network of stakeholders, especially the, the various data space initiatives. And while the sectoral data spaces have been looking at the details and, and nuances of their particular sectors, then uh, the data spaces support center looks at the, particularly the interoperability between the data spaces and also what are the, let's say, minimum aspects of how, what is necessary to uh, put the data spaces in, in, in place. Um, so in some way, how does um, Simple actually relate to that uh, by developing the, the software? And when the software is developed, where it actually will run? Several very good questions, and I will do my best to answer that in as a concise way as possible. So as is repeated, Simple Open is that open source software stack. So what that means is that, well, several aspects of the element. One is the requirements or the aspects of that are still currently being developed and discussed. Right now, or at least in Mandible session yesterday, we have released those requirements that are open for consultation and for feedback to the wider community. So I invite you to go to our stand or to scan the QR code there to already start providing input. In the longer journey, we will then be publishing a source code or the proof of concepts for Simple Open this summer in a dedicated repository. Longer term, this will lead to the the launch of a minimal viable product at the end of the year, which will also coincide with our annual event. And throughout this, we are a co-creative exercise as well. We are an open source project. What that means is we invite you to constantly give your feedback and your input and to be in collaboration with us so that we ensure that what is being developed as part of this open source software stack actually meets the requirements and needs and the expectations of the community in the way that, of course, we can attain or attuned to. Does that answer your question, Celia? Kind of, but I have uh, follow-up questions. Of course. So you mentioned that there are several parts, uh, Simple Open, Simple Live, and Simple Labs. Could you tell us a little bit more about what Simple Live does? Simple Live, for example, or Simple Live, 
is going to be the deployment or the adoption of Simple Open in six identified data spaces. Those data spaces are the public procurement data space, the health data space, the EOS, the European Open Science Cloud, in the smart communities data space, in the language data space, and I have one more, and the destination Earth. That is to say that while these six have been identified um, to adopt Simple Live, Simple Open, or to adopt Simple Open, the, it is an open source software stack which can be used by all data space and it's not limited to only these six. All right, uh, well, then the six data spaces will be deployed, but what about Simple Labs? That's the fun part, so at least what I find the fun part. So Simple Labs will be a sandbox or a testbed of the different open, so open source software components or the open source software stack in a secure environment where different people who are registered and who can log in and show an interest to log in can play and experiment with these different software components to scale and to test what works for them in a nice test bed and to also ensure it's interoperable with their current solution and with future ongoing initiatives that they are thinking or projecting to do. All right. Well, it's good to understand the, the different focuses and, uh, and the scope of work also in the initiatives and really see this as a complete package in a way for, for Simple. Um, and um, as we share the same vision for data spaces, actually to make them happen, we need to, of course, then also decide and agree on how uh, the two initiatives actually work together from the SEC side and, uh, and Simple uh, Open. So could you share a little bit also how do, do you actually relate to, to the work and assets of the DSSC, like, for example, the data spaces uh, blueprint? Um, is it kind of like an implementation of, of the building blocks and, uh, uh, and the blueprint in, in general? I think we can use quite a nice analogy here, which is that the DSSC can be seen as a bit of the urban planners. So you have those who look at where the road should be going, how the basic infrastructure and how the buildings are all set up. What we need after that is the planners, or not the planners, sorry, but the implementers, those who help to realize this vision that is set in this urban plan, and that there is simple. So DSSC conceptualizes these building blocks, which is, for example, shown in this blue book. Blueprint, blue book? Blueprint. Blueprint. And so what our responsibility is, is to look at the technology um, that is shown in the technology building blocks and to realize it. So what we'll be doing is we, as part of Simple Open, will be in close collaboration with DSSC and the team who is investigating this blueprint to identify what has already been done, what already exists, and how we can converge it and work together to create this open source software stack building on this work. That's first of all, super to hear. Uh, I'm looking forward to that collaboration. And of course, that means that uh, the DSSC needs to do a good job to give you all the, uh, the work. Uh, a lot of pressure on you. <laughs> Indeed. Um, but it's good because uh, it already shows that there is um, uh, collaboration and it's also in some way an evolution of, uh, of the assets uh, from the DSSC side. Um, so my next question would be that um, the Data Spaces Support Center is there to provide support. Um, what about that support angle, actually? Where does my support um, end and support from uh, Simple Open uh, start? So my understanding here is, as we've repeated now a few times, DSSC helps with the conceptualization. So you, have an, you need to understand a bit more of how it's theorized or how, you, how the theory behind the data spaces and what value it brings to our organization or our work. They would go more towards yourself. Within Simple, or at least within the current scope of this initiative, or Simple Open, we primarily focus in this regard on the open source community dynamic. So when there's a question on the software side, you come towards us. And of course, right now, we are just launched, and there's still, I think, um, my understanding, listening to everyone these last days and months, is that there's still some confusion between the two. So we will continue to closely collaborate that when someone with a software question goes towards you, please redirect towards us. And when someone has a more conceptual question, we will, of course, do the same favor going forward. Good plan. Um, we presented a lot in the morning also about uh, that uh, the DSSC uh, works together with a large network of uh, stakeholders. So how should we actually continue uh, engaging also uh, the network and um, yeah, how do we divide maybe in some uh, um, areas in, uh, in terms of uh, engaging with the different types of stakeholders? How we divide that? Uh, oh. 
That's a bit, uh, let's see how best to do that. So one thing I know we're already starting is talking about, okay, this is your working group and this is something you're already developing. With ours, we're still quite new, or we're still quite in the development and the discussion phase of what exactly will be part of, Sim well, we know what will be part of Simple Open, but the exact governance model or the exact kind of analysis input that we'll get from the community, those aspects are still being defined. So we will be working together quite closely, and I know that we plan to be working quite closely with others who are also in this room to help define that. What I can share is that, and I've said repeatedly, we welcome feedback and input. When this feedback and input is received, we'll do our best to an analyze everything that comes in and make sure that your considerations or your feedback is being taken into consideration. We have right now an ongoing survey that is looking at the expectations around the open source community, gauging how actively you want to be involved and what way you want to be involved in and what you expect. We'll be continuing to do this for the next three years with the ambition uh, that at the end or in 2026, the open source or the open simple open will belong to the community or at least in the current time frame, we will be its lead maintainers towards 2026 when this current initiative ends. We would like to pass that mantle or that torch to the community itself and have this being open source an ongoing initiative that goes beyond what we ourselves are developing. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned a lot uh, that uh, the work is uh, uh, surrounded on this open source community and in some way it sounds to me also that, uh, that this is actually something that it, we uh, are quite similar. We're agnostic and open to various types of solutions and really try to make so that the guidance and practical recommendations actually from the support center side as well as the software from simple open side is uh, yeah, versatile, uh, in a, versatile enough to uh, to uh, make, make it work for different kinds of, uh, of data spaces. Um, well, I know that uh, you're in the starting phases, um, but uh, for sure you have already a uh, plan set up for the upcoming period. Could you share, uh, share a little bit more than uh, what you're actually, what the audience could expect from, uh, from you? So the practical ones here, and for those who did not attend Manuel's session yesterday, so right now what we have launched is now a Futuri more form-like page where we welcome input and that will showcase the requirements. This includes the business process and use case. This includes a bit more the high level requirements with the conceptualized upper version, as well as detailed requirements, all of which will feed into user stories that will be coming later in Q2 or in towards the summer, as well as the actual proof of concepts, including the user installment guide and more fun or in interestingly, the source code which will all be shown in a simple open repository, also to be launched this summer. Next to this, we will also have a website to tailor and converge everything else for the program as a whole. And then longer term, your Christmas gift for this year will be this minimal viable product, which is the starting board or the big launch of Simple Open. And that will be complemented by an annual event that dates to be determined and will be broadcasted as soon as we have more information. All right, so uh, we're so look forward to uh, the event and maybe actually this is uh, the, the next one where we actually meet with uh, the big uh, community uh, here today also. Um, is there anything you'd like to say before we start to conclude? Uh, and I'd like to start maybe painting uh, then as a summary how I, kind of how I understand the collaboration for you to also maybe just validate and correct me then if I uh, misunderstood something. But before, yeah, is there anything that you'd like to uh, remind or, or share with the audience. Simple program is an open source project, uh, open source initiative. So the objective here, and I've heard several times throughout the last days and since already January or even before that when this idea or the idea of simple has been floated around and talked and oh, another data project, oh, another data initiative, why do we need it next to IDSA, next to Gaia, next to iShare, next to DSSC? What we want is to help support in that convergence. And how we can do that is one, you sharing your input with us, your thoughts, your feedback, what you're currently doing, so that we can help and see how best we can support the ongoing picture or the ongoing work that's being done. We're not trying to be disruptive. We want to build on the work that you have already done and are still doing to support us in the next steps and to help realize not just data spaces or the vision of a common European data space, but in a practical sense, the vision and the ambition that you yourself want to achieve through these data spaces. So we want you to be here to support you. We're not in any way trying to steal anything. We're trying to converge here. So please do reach out to me and to the wider team. If you can find me still, I know it's the last day, people are traveling. 
I am approachable. There's a stand here that I'll be mostly fluttering around, and otherwise you have my details. Please do reach out, and I look forward to talking with you. So already, let's uh, not uh, lose the chance to uh, speak with Aline and the colleagues uh, to learn more. So let's try to conclude. Um, and uh, how I summarize um, the, the collaboration between the DSSC and Simple would be that, as mentioned, the DSSC is there to conceptualize how the data spaces should uh, look like, um, whereas then Simple makes it more concrete on a, on a really software level. Um, while Simple is more about the technology, uh, the DSSC also looks at the uh, broader aspects of, um, of business, legal and, and governance aspect and we don't even start to think about really writing software um, because that's the job of Simple Open and once the software is there, it uh, gets deployed in the first six data spaces uh, and further then iterated in the, in the Simple Labs. Is that correct? Did I summarize well? That sounds like a good summary. All right, very good. So if there's uh, still any uh, questions, up, do find us. Uh, the DSSC has its booth on both sides of, the, of this uh, room and, uh, and also have Jimmy and I colleagues are here to, to help out. So first of all, uh, or last but not least, let's give a, a, a round of applause to, to Aline and, uh, the, and uh, lots of encouragement to, uh, to the work uh, that, you're, that is upcoming. Thank you and to yourselves for organizing.